Have you ever been editing something in Photoshop and either you had the program crash on you and you end up losing your progress or you accidentally deleted a Photoshop file that you really needed and you can't figure a way to get it back? Well, today I'm gonna to try to help you solve these two problems with a few fixes so that you can get your files back and get back to editing. So let's start with the situation that we're working on a file in Photoshop. It's just a picture of my bald head here that I was working on. And let's say that Photoshop unexpectedly crashes on us. Now in this situation, the first thing you actually wanna do is just relaunch Photoshop because it has a built-in feature called auto recovery, which should help you recover any files when the application crashes or closes unexpectedly. So as we see here, the file is now renamed to bald recovered before it was just bald. And that is the file being recovered and auto recovered by Photoshop for us, which is fantastic. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and save this and make sure that you save this as your new copy. You can override the previous copy that you had if you had made changes before you'd made your saves, all that kind of stuff. This is a great way to do that. So let's go ahead and make a save. So I'm just gonna save this into this location. So for auto recovery, you're gonna wanna check one setting in your Photoshop. So if you go to edit, you go to preferences and you go to file handling. Here you're gonna see a option here called automatically save recovery information every. Make sure that this is checked at a minimum and then you can also change the amount of time. So you, I have it set to five minutes so that it'll automatically save recovery information every five minutes. So if I open up a file, I start working on it and I don't save it within the five minutes, as long as five minutes has passed, Photoshop will save a recovery file that I can recover. If it crashes at three minutes, unfortunately there will not be any recovery information. And you're gonna to wanna to set that to whatever makes the most sense for you. So now the next situation is what if you accidentally delete your Photoshop files and you can't get them back? So if we do something like a shift delete here, which is just gonna permanently delete the file, it's not gonna to go to the recycle bin. If I navigate to my recycle bin, you can see that there's nothing in here we wanna be able to recover this file. And that's where our EaseUs data recovery wizard is going to come in handy. So one of the nice things about EaseUs's data recovery wizard is that we can recover up to two gigabytes of data for free, which is absolutely perfect because these Photoshop files are well under a gigabit, at least the ones that I'm using right now. And it is pretty rare for a Photoshop file to get over two gigs. So as long as your file is under two gigs, we can do this for free. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and just search my whole disk here, cause I made a really small disk to make this a little bit quicker for demo purposes. We're gonna go ahead and search for lost data on that local e-disk, which is where we had deleted that file from. So let's go ahead and search for lost data and give this a second to take a look through everything. So that search was pretty quick. If we go ahead and go to recover, this is gonna show all of the stuff that has been deleted on that volume. And we had my file within the taxes folder. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And as you can see, we have the files here. Now it's gonna show two of them and I don't know which one's gonna be the right one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select both and we're gonna recover both to my folder. So we're gonna go ahead and go to recover and we're just gonna go ahead and select recover. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose choose folder. We're gonna press save. I'm gonna go to bald man picks and this is where I want my recovered files to go. Relatively quick. Now it automatically opens that location for us. We can go ahead and open that up, open up taxes. And now the bald recovered one didn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bald recovered zero. And as we can see, they are significantly different sizes. So it makes more sense that the zero is the one that we want. And there we go. We were able to recover that file that was deleted and we can go ahead and save it into our new location, or save it as a new name, all that kind of stuff. We got our file back thanks to EaseUs's recovery wizard. And a final tip, make sure that you always have your important project files backed up. Make sure that you have an additional copy saved on a separate drive, whether that is another drive within your PC, a portable drive, a USB stick, something even in the cloud, have them saved somewhere else just in case you do delete them and you're unable to recover them for whatever reason, you'll always have a good backup.
So I do hope that either of these methods help you recover your Photoshop files, whether it's from a crash or from accidentally deleting a file. If it did help you out, we would really appreciate you letting us know down in the comments. And if you do have any questions or you run into any problems, you can also let us know down in the comments and we will try to help you out as much as possible. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.